There are many human struggles and medical issues related to a life-threatening illness. The emotional and spiritual struggles of a patient with a short prognosis are often overwhelming. Once associated with only cancer patients, hospice now provides services that offer comfort and reduce the suffering of any patient battling a disease or condition that can no longer be treated. It's not only for the elderly, it's not about giving up, it's not only for people living at home, and it's not only for people with cancer. Hospice doesn't hasten death, and it's not an expensive service. Um, in fact, hospice is covered by Medicare, Medicaid, and most commercial insurance plans. Hospice covers medical equipment such as hospital beds, wheelchairs, oxygen, medications for pain relief, and symptom control. We supply things for wound care. Um, we also supply things for personal care. Choosing a hospice is not about giving up hope, it is redefining hope. The hope to be as pain-free as possible. The hope to see a long-lost friend or relative. The hope to spend time with family and friends. The hope to have a meaningful talk or moment. Hospice can help a patient with a life-limiting illness who are expected to live about six months or less. Uh, but even though they're on hospice, the patient's family physician can still be active in the decision-making process along with the medical director of the hospice company. Uh, but it's very important that the patient and the uh, patient's family communicate directly with their regular doctor so that they can choose the hospice company they prefer because uh, choosing hospice is a personal decision. Throughout its 11 locations across Alabama, Comfort Care Hospice works to relieve suffering, embrace comfort, and promote quality of life for patients with life-limiting illnesses by providing compassionate medical care and pain management. With on-call nursing services and support available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, its attentive staff supplies the care necessary for physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual well-being. Our hospice team feels it's an honor to take care of patients and their family during the end of life. And we realize that discussing final wishes can be very emotional for the patient and family, but by doing this, this helps relieve some of the fears associated with the unknown. Our hospice chaplains, nurses, and social workers have specialized training, and one of our goals is to help them prepare for the physical and the emotional changes that will occur as the disease progresses. With a qualified hospice team of nurses to provide skilled care, nursing assistants to help with bathing and dressing, social workers to offer counseling and resource planning, chaplains to give spiritual support if desired, and volunteers to offer assistance. Comfort Care is there to help provide services at their residence, whether at home or in a nursing home or assisted living facility. Comfort Care really specializes in developing an individual plan of care for each patient and each patient's family. They also work with the community with support groups like Alzheimer's, grief counseling, and cancer support groups. My mother suffered from congestive heart failure for 12 years. In the last year, my brothers and I decided that we needed access to 24-hour-a-day professional care for her to provide the best care we could because she was weakening. She received great benefits from the assurance of daily visits. She looked forward to the social aspect of the nurses coming in and talking to her and visit with her and make her feel as a friend or a, a caring companion, not just as a professional visit. Not a lot of people are educated about the dying process and what benefits are available to them. Um, hospice is a program that can help a patient die peacefully, help the family deal with the tragedy of the death and uh, just provide a lot of uh, things that people are really unaware of. So an education process is mainly the reason I'm involved. The relief and support that I received from Comfort Care really surprised me more than anything. After my mother died, we had uh, Comfort Care social workers call me and ask me how I was doing. They sent us notes, sent us letters, uh, offered all sorts of grief counseling. So the, those benefits were not really what I was expecting when we hired Comfort Care to work with Mother, but they were as valuable to us in the long run as the actual hands-on care that she received because uh, we had an extended family and, and that was a great help to us. The best part is people I work with, I and mean, they are legitimate, uh, caring people 
uh, all the way from the other medical directors to the nurses and, and the complete staff. They really care about the patient and really the end of life measures that they can take to make it a, a peaceful process. I would definitely recommend comfort care to others because I only wanted the best for my mom. I believe the quality of her life was greatly improved and extended by the care that we received from Comfort Care. Our Comfort Care Hospice team has a kind, caring, compassionate, and dedicated staff with a true hospice heart. As founder of the modern hospice concept, Dr. Cicely Saunders stated, you matter until the last moment of your life, and we will do all we can, not only to help you die peacefully, but also to live until you die. If your loved one has a terminal illness with a limited life expectancy, hospice can help them focus on quality of life when quantity is uncertain. Comfort Care Hospice, providing comfort and care when you need it the most. For more information, go to comfortcarehospice.org or call the number on your screen, 303-566-1000.